Hi, I'm a guy that likes to review things and stuff. And here I have the Fold 2. The Galaxy Fold 2, um, it's pretty freaking awesome. I'm not a normal phone user. I have serious attention deficit disorder when it comes to phones, watches. Um, so I've got like a Note 20 Ultra, which is what I'm recording this with. I have the Note 20. Um, the main reason why I bought this phone is because I'm a pretty heavy power user and I am always remoting into my clients servers. Um, I host about 2,000 websites myself. I have my servers in my data center. I need to remote into those. So the cool thing is, is I can use this remote desktop client. Customer calls, oh, I need an email set up right away. I just, boom, remote into my server, launch my Hyper-V client, go to the server that's hosting my exchange, add their email account, I'm done. Before I'd have to drag out my laptop or my tablet, and I've used tablets that had the t the uh, wire the uh, ether the LTE modems in them, and I always wondered to myself why don't they just allow these things to make and receive calls? And then a couple Chinese manufacturers made a few tablets that had you, you could make and receive calls. I could use my Bluetooth on it, but the quality of the tablet was just it was garbage. So that's one thing I love using love you, you when I use this phone is the fact that I can get an entire server desktop on my screen. When I would use my Note 20 or whatever phone I was using, I would always constantly have to scroll to the side of the screen to reach desktop icons and stuff, where now they're all on the one screen. The other thing I love about this phone is the camera. The camera on this thing is absolutely amazing using it with this screen. Um, the quality of the camera, though, is not as good as the Note 20 Ultra but it is a very good quality camera. Um, and using the full screen for when you're taking your pictures, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um, one of the other thing, the main reason why I love Samsung phones is because all of their firmwares are cross compatible. Meaning that if I have a Verizon Samsung phone dating, they started doing this about three years ago. If I had a Samsung phone that was from Verizon, I could actually, and I wanted to switch to AT&T, provided my SIM is unlocked, which I'm gonna be doing another video later on how to SIM unlock these phones. Um, provided your SIM is unlocked, you could flash a T-Mobile ROM to a Verizon phone, and boom, now it's a full-fledged T-Mobile phone. Everything works, even the video calling, which is basically what this phone was. It was originally a Verizon phone. Um, I went ahead and I SIM unlocked it. I stayed with Verizon for a while. I went ahead and I paid the phone off. But then Verizon is like, oh, no, sorry, you have to have your service for six months before, we're, before we'll, we will unlock your phone. And I'm like, I've paid it off. Unlock my phone. They absolutely refused. So I was like, fine. I'll, I'll, I've, you know, I've done the Note 10s. I've done the, the, the S20s. Should be the exact same process. So I just SIM unlocked it myself, ported my number to T-Mobile, and now I'm on T-Mobile, which, as you know, they bought Sprint. T-Mobile didn't care about Sprint, they just wanted their, their network. They didn't care about Sprint customers. So basically T-Mobile now has the strongest 5G coverage on their unlimited plan. If you're using that, yeah, you it's, it's pretty awesome. Um, the other cool thing about this phone is for content. Um, I love watching YouTube videos, YouTube review videos, and for content creation or, or for content watching it is pretty awesome so i love review videos i love like j2 senses uh gamers nexus is pretty good the cool thing is, is i can sit here and watch the video and i got this whole area down below for watching you know for reading con comments replying to them whatever the other cool thing is say i want a bigger screen when I'm watching videos. I just turn it on the side and boom. Now I got pretty much that entire screen for watching videos. Um, battery life, I've literally spent three hours watching review videos and the whole dilemma with the 3080 series and video cards. So I was watching all those videos and I literally spent probably three hours and was still had like 15% battery time left. 
when you throw it on the charger you can go from 15% because that's as low as I've ever been uh, back up to 100% in like 35 minutes if you use the fast charger that came with the phone um, other than that I mean the size of the phone or the the weight of the phone it's kind of hard to get used to at first because it is like carrying a brick around um, the front screen if you've ever used the uh, Sony Xperia's it's a lot like their screens um, the narrowness of it you know what have you because their phones are long and narrow um, this one's a little bit you know smaller on that side but still pretty good um, so you know typing on it really hard at first but you will get used to it eventually um, <clears throat> but the nice thing is, is say for example you're on a screen you can just open it up boom reply to the messages whatever um, one other thing is like your keyboard so when you're typing you got two layouts I, I do prefer this one um, but if you've got longer fingers you might want to go to this keyboard um, these are just some things these have already been covered in review videos I'm by no means an expert re reviewer um, I just kind of wanted to get some people the aspect of you know the remote desktop connect God darn it the remote desktop connections because um, there are a lot of business people that do remote administration that might like this phone um, so that's probably about about all I'm gonna go into in depth with it um, I'll be doing a review video later when my wife gets her S20 Plus in, uh, we're going to be uh, flashing that to the unlocked firmware um, so she can use that. I'll do a, do a review video on how to do that because um, it's originally I bought it off eBay. It's a, uh, I believe it's, a AT, it's an AT&T phone. So see that's the other thing, all the hardware in these phones about the past three, four years, it's all the exact same hardware. It's just T-Mobile uses different bands than Verizon so Verizon's ROM disables a lot of some of those bands um, where when you flash the T-Mobile ROM if you want to use T-Mobile boom you're good to go full 5G video calling um, Wi-Fi uh, <clears throat> wi calling all that stuff is great um, so I'll be doing a review video on that of how to unlock the SIM how to flash a custom ROM um, when I get that phone so other than that um, I hope you enjoyed the video um, Anyway, you guys take care.